on this week's road trip close to home. A mindful practice with some playful puppies. Plus an extreme driving class that'll keep you on track. And life is like a carousel, up and down, up and down. We'll show you a place where you'll remember to enjoy the ride on this week's road trip. Hello road trippers, I'm Shannon Lanier. I hope you're ready to hit the road with us. How about some downward dog with puppy poses? Jordan Kassain is catching some zen and cuddles at this New York City yoga class. Wolf Wellness NYC is giving downward dog a whole new meaning. And then this is Puma, and this is the only girl in the litter. Her name is Nala. Oh. Puppies and exercise, two of life's most simple pleasures under one roof. My two favorite things are fitness and puppies, and they're both huge de-stressors. I was looking for a combination of the both to de-stress and get rid of some anxiety. Bread out of necessity, Wolf Wellness NYC offers a serious mood boost for any sort of fitness fan. Whether it's a yoga flow, meditation, or Pilates, we do all different types of fitness. The dog's free roam, you get cuddles and kisses, and it's just a great time. Cuddles and kisses. <laughs> just what the doctor ordered. This is kind of a fun way to be able to play with puppies and get a chance to like snuggle some dogs that need some love. <laughs> These very good boys and girls could use some love. The best of what this snuggly studio offers? We are 100% not using breeders or puppy mills. We only use rescues and that is because we want every single dog to have the opportunity to find a new home. Each pup in class is looking for their fur ever home, making Wolf Wellness not only unbearably cute, but kind too. You can definitely feel the energy shift in the room from before class begins to when it ends, and it's always a plus seeing dogs get adopted and find new families. So we will leave the yogaing up to them and the smooching up to us. Remember, every single one of these very good boys is up for adoption, so head to our website for more information. We're in Manhattan, I'm Jordan Kusain. Oh my gosh, those puppies are so cute. It makes me want to get one and then do some yoga. <laughs> All right, well, you know what they say, the carousel never stops turning. So hold on tight. We're road tripping to a museum dedicated to preserving and protecting some historic American gyms. We're all kids when we're on a carousel. When you go to see a carousel, no one's frowning, <laughs> unless they're being told to leave. <laughs> Morgan Ergo is the executive director of the Carousel Museum in Bristol. Our mission is to preserve and protect as many of these operating wooden carousels as possible. This is a, a, a very important part of American history. In the late 1880s, the U.S. was growing into an industrial powerhouse, new technologies, and expanding transportation. The carousel really starts to flourish because of a couple of things, uh, the invention of electricity and the trolley in the transportation industry. So, so the trolley operators would add a carousel to the end of the line to encourage you to ride. Americans were having fun, and a wave of immigrants was finding a way to show their old world skills in a new country. Some of them fleeing political persecution, religious persecution, and they have complete freedom to be artistic and celebrated. They used the um, language of art and they drew on the walls to really identify what they were working on, who this, what the style was going to be, what the trappings were going to be. You're going back through layers of other people's work and, uh, and uh, decades of damage. So that's our job. Richard Rich foam. is the restoration they manager at the museum. Um, they, you can see veins here on the face, which a lot of the horses have. And um, sometimes that's the sort of thing that's buried in the paint that we try and bring back. Extensive detail. You just don't paint this any way you want. No, no, not at all. They wanted this to be the black horse with the white mane and the white tail and the white socks. Lisa Gibson Renalter is a restoration artist who meticulously hand paints each piece. She follows a carefully chosen palette, reference photos, and gilding, a job that's much more than paints and brushes. How much do you enjoy doing this? I love it. I've been here for 19 years. And what do you love about it? Everything. Everything. <laughs> uh, being a part of preserving the history of America. And while the carousel may be a small part of our history, it does speak to a time that the team at the museum knows is worth remembering. When people kind of look back at, and get very nostalgic and say this simpler time that we all are sort of yearning for, I think carousel is really the symbol of all of that. 
On our road trips, we want you guys to have tons of fun, but we also want you to be safe. Now you may hit some bad weather along the way, and that's why we're road tripping to Skip Barber Driving School, where they offer a day class to keep you on track. If you're taking a road trip this winter, you may encounter some inclement weather like the snow that's falling right now or the water and ice that's on the ground. So just to make sure you can handle your car and drive safely, we came to the Skip Barber Driving Academy. Okay, Mike, so what are some of the main things people learn in your driving academy? Well, number one, I take off that big heavy coat so you're not so restricted when you get behind the wheel. And you'll learn how to be a safer driver and how to avoid the event of a crash. To teach these skills, licensed drivers or even those with a learner's permit will get hands-on training behind the wheel on how to react in their vehicle to avoid a crash. So what did you do to control yourself in that turn? Basically, you steer into the slide. I learned how to come to a stop in the middle of a turn. So that's a perfect scenario of okay. when we should get to the brake pedal. That was exciting. Lastly, how to stop when you're sliding. I'll walk you through this. Seven liters block go down the left, straight, get the car stop. There you go. All right, so we just avoided the crash right there. All right, I feel like a safe driver now. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. You ready? Let's go. I got to admit, that was so much fun doing those donuts in the parking lot. Of course, for safety reasons, so I hope you were paying attention. <laughs> All right, moving on, the charming village of Millerton is situated at the intersection of New York, Connecticut, and Massachusetts. As our Nikita Ramos shows us, this is a great place to spend the day to slow down and reset. Sit back and stay a while in the quaint village of Millerton. The nationally recognized historic Main Street is where you'll find a warm cup to cure a case of the winter weather blues. World-renowned tea brand Harney & Sons will fill your cup with just the right blend. Whether you're looking for your favorite or you're trying to find one, thanks to the experts, you don't have to look long. So tell me about this oolong. Well, this oolong is very nice and it's been um, the added flowers, the osmanthus flowers, which give it an interesting sweet and citrusy flavor. Book a tea tasting at this family-owned business and your personalized experience will take you around the world in 30 minutes. It's a way we source our teas, mainly Asia. So India, Japan, China. There's a lot to choose from with more than 250 varieties of tea. So treat yourself with that cozy blend and pair it with a bite at the cafe. But you know what else goes well with a fresh cup of tea? A new book, fresh off the press. It won't take you long to fill your bag here at Oblong Books, especially with some of these employee recommendations that they have. And you can find some signed copies by the author. But most of all, you can't forget to leave without some games like Katad. Browse, linger, and get lost in the pages of history, hobbies, and more on this road trip close to home. In Millerton, Nikita Ramos, News 12. All right, we're going to make a quick pit stop right now, but don't go anywhere because aren't you in the mood for a little Caribbean vacation right about now? Sign me up for sure. We're going to transport you to the island with no extra sunscreen needed. Even the simplest vacations require some planning. My family likes to talk about our ideas and plans over dinner. It's a fun way to start dreaming of summer.
Welcome back, road trippers. I'm Shannon Lanier. Get ready to head to the islands on our next stop. And guess what? You can leave your passport at home. Are you looking for a tropical adventure without all of that expensive travel? Well, today might just be your lucky day. Flatbush Central Caribbean Marketplace has 26 vendors, including a food hall in the heart of Brooklyn. Here people can come and experience the Caribbean from, uh, from cultural products to cultural food. The diversity of tasty options will make your mouth water just thinking about them. Jamaican tacos from two girls in a cook shop, eggnog cheesecake from J-Dub with the grub, and even lamb bacon from Prince Abu's Butchery. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. You're gonna find events, food, and uh, dishes that you can't really find anywhere else. Uh, there's always like some new type of food cooking session going on. There's educational stuff. Stroll the market and shop for colorful clothing, jewelry, flags, tea, and more products you can typically only find in the Caribbean. It is conveniently in the heart of Flatbush, and we're inside. No coldness, no jackets required, and you're still taking a trip to the island. The market portion of Flatbush Central is open Monday through Saturday, and the food hall is open seven days a week. In Flatbush, Marissa Marcelino, News 12. Hey, that market is about as close as I can get for now, so they'll have to do. <laughs> well, if you're looking for a place to get creative with your family, come along with us to get your graffiti on. We're at the Graph Lab studio in Holtzville for this week's road trip close to home, and we're here to create some graffiti art. Danny Cross set out to open Graph Lab studio in March of 2020, but the pandemic led him in another direction. We actually came to your lawn and painted like a live graffiti banner. We were like the little light in Long Island that would come and just make something out of, out of a birthday because there was nothing going on. After finally being able to do what they do best, Danny and his wife geared up to entertain. Here at the Graph Lab studio, you can design everything from a jean jacket, a t-shirt, even a skateboard. All right, I'm not very artistic, but we are gonna try and see what we come up with today. Let's go. When designing your sweatshirt, your t-shirt, or any other artistic masterpiece, there's hundreds of stencils to choose from. I'm learning from a pro here. <laughs> so here's my masterpiece. Graph Lab Studios is open by appointment only. For this road trip close to home, I'm Angela Cascarano, News 12 Long Island. Wow, they are so creative. Good job, everyone. Well, since being rescued two decades ago, the Avon Theater in Stamford has been bringing independent foreign plus classic films and documentaries to the silver screen. So pass the popcorn. 1939. 1939 was a big year in the Avon's history in that it was the year that the theater opened. It was a massive time for movie going and here in Stamford at the time of its opening, the Avon was the go-to destination movie theater. We're at the Avon Theater here in Stamford, Connecticut. I think what makes the Avon the go-to theater today is a combination of the ambiance, the personal service and touch that one gets from it being an independent, you feel the history. You feel you're sitting here, you look around who has been here, you know. Architecturally speaking, everything is intact as it was when the theater was built. Sometimes films open in New York and LA first and within a couple of weeks we are given access and might be on an exclusive basis. The Avon shows a range of first-run movies over any given year. We try to really stick to the films that are getting the most critical traction. I think what they really love, obviously, is the movie, but also everything else what we create around the movie. We've had a slew of guests here for the last 20 years. We have Q&As, we have also pre-screenings. Great director and Arthur Penn, the esteemed actor Eli Wallach, uh, more recently, Chloe Sevigny, who also happens to have grown up right nearby in Darien. It's extraordinarily important to have these guests because it's one of the many things that we do here that differentiate us from the local movie theaters that just show films. 
So the movie is the focus, always, but it's all the other activities around it that make a huge difference. That is absolutely among many reasons why people come to the Avon. Destination films at a destination theater. Our constituency is not only from here in Stamford, but it goes across Fairfield County. We get many people from Westchester. When there's that uniqueness to it where you can't have it somewhere else, oh, they drive, yeah. One of the great things about the Avon in terms of its location is Bedford Street is a true downtown. A lot of restaurants, bars around here, so it's, you know, it's a, it's a day out, it's an evening out. Let's go to the Avon, let's have a drink, let's have a meal. The street, if you ever walk around Bedford, almost has a small town feel. I think people should come here for the uniqueness of experience, of seeing a movie in a classic movie theater venue with a large screen and great auditorium and sound system. And it's something that you can't just find in any community these days. Just come, I can talk about it, but just come and believe me, come to the Avon, enjoy it. Can't wait until spring? Well, the sights and smells of the season will be on full display at the 42nd Connecticut Flower and Garden Show from February 22nd through February 25th at the Connecticut Convention Center in Hartford. Bursting into spring is the theme of this year's show, featuring expansive live gardens and hundreds of exhibitors. Now, this is the only show of its kind in New England. For discount tickets, scan the QR code. On our family road trips, we really like to get out of our comfort zone and try new things. It sure does make for some great memories. 